Subunit 2.4, Myers-Briggs Type Indicators and Personality Types Within Teams. So this section is going to focus on what kind of team member are you and how do you fit into the broader team in general? Uh, personality type and psychological type are terms commonly associated with the personality development and inventory known as the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. The four letters are derived from four pairs of preferences. So as you go through and you've done your Myers-Briggs assessment and the pre-work from the last uh, unit, so here you're looking at these four letters um, and, and what do they mean. So let's look at the first pair, introvert and extrovert. So it indicates whether energy is received from an inwardly inward world or from an outwardly world. So um, you've seen many people who like to work alone on their projects and, and get great satisfaction in being kind of a solo performer and other people who really receive energy from working in larger teams. And that's just a sense of what, what uh, again, how you best work in a group. Another one is uh, sensing, an S, or intuition, an N. This identifies how information is gathered. How do you get information from the external world and your, how you make decisions? Next one is thinking, a T, or feeling, an F. And this is an indicator of how judgments and decisions are made. And again, remember that each one of these is trying to identify how you work when you interact with others and when you do problem solving. And this is going to help you in understanding how you fit into a team. So the final one is whether you're judging, J, or perceiving, a P, and this determines the way a person deals with the outside world. So here you see an image that kind of consolidates all of these and gives you some uh, examples of people who are in these categories. And so if you combine all those four attributes and look at personality types that fit in each one of those four attributes, you can see anywhere here from George Bush to Marilyn Monroe and Robin Williams and kind of where they fit in this world. And you're going to have a discussion here. John Mather is going to talk about the fact that he's an INTJ. And you can see how an INTJ, uh, people like John F. Kennedy and C.S. Lewis, uh, fit into a team and how they best can contribute. So um, my personality type is very different than John's. Uh, I'm a project manager and system engineer. I'm an ENFP. And ENFP, you see Robin Williams and, Bi and Bill Cosby. Boy, that doesn't sound like a good engineer at NASA. But actually, there's a lot of attributes in being someone who is uh, extroverted and likes to bring people together and do problem solving that are really valuable as a system engineer. So you'll find system engineers fit in a lot of these different places on the uh, Myers-Briggs assessment. And uh, again, it's really trying to find out where you fit in where other team members fit in, and then how you work together. Because the interaction between an ENFP and an INTJ has to happen a certain way. There's going to be certain ways that a, a John Mather will perceive the world that's different than mine. But again, on a big project, you're going to try to come together to solve a problem. Well, I've been very interested in uh, psychological types and, uh, and curious about my own. Uh, I've taken the Myers-Briggs test a couple of times, and I didn't get exactly the same answer twice. Uh, but uh, I tend to fall in the same box as most scientists, which is a pretty small fraction of the total population. I think they said about 3% of us are in this little box called INTJ, that's what they call it. So it's primarily intuitive, um, a little bit uh, introspective as compared to uh, uh, people-oriented, uh, thinkers, and, uh, and uh, able to judge things. That's how we like to approach the world. So it's. Uh, Scientists are, for the most part, very intuitive, but some of us also say, well, I've got to go get data. So um, I tend to be middle of the road about a lot of these things, and so it gives me flexibility. Well, I never took the Myers-Briggs personality test, but I did take a test, that um, a 4D test, part of the 4D training that we went to um, that has been uh, going around here at NASA for a couple of years now. And my personality type was a uh, logical decider and directing. You know, Mike's personality type using the Myers-Briggs type indicator would most likely be an ENTJ. Uh, these are folks that are uh, good at this being frank and decisive leaders. Uh, they eliminate inefficiency and they strive for goals with uh, thorough planning and organization. Those, gosh, those are key people to have on a team, especially in the role of system engineers. Well, I think that the way the, the, the assessment came out is the way I'd like to be viewed as. I hope I am a logical decider and I hope... Uh, you know, in my role as the lead, I have to be directing. So I think that uh, I was actually quite pleased with that. My personality in working with a team is to be curious and interested in what other people are thinking. 
uh, because even though everybody thinks I'm a famous scientist, nevertheless, I know that I don't know what other people know. So I usually approach a meeting thinking, if I'm talking, I'm not listening and I'm not learning. So my approach to uh, groups uh, is to work with people and, and, and try to make sure that they know what their job is uh, and encourage them to do it their way. Uh, I'm not a very directive person. I, I don't think that I know what other people should do. Uh, I think most of the time, if the people are the right people for the job, they already know what to do. So that's how I work with people. Um, people say that I'm a modest person, which isn't completely true. I'm proud of what I've done, and I know what I'm, that I can do some things very well. Uh, but usually I know in a group situation, I'm not the person who can do everything well. So I, I step back a little bit. I don't push myself on uh, telling people what to do. There's a lot of benefits of the Myers-Briggs type indicator. Um, its ability to recognize one's strengths, preferences, and areas for growth and improvement. Also, an awareness and appreciation of other different personality types. Because, again, you want to be able to improve your communication and interpersonal skills between all you and all the team members to make sure, again, that you've kind of taken into consideration uh, the way that they perceive the world and the way that they like to do problem solving and interact with others when you communicate with them. I think when I'm in a team environment, I do notice somewhat that different people have very different personalities. Um, and uh, I'm very glad for the variety uh, because some of us are good at some things and some are good at other things. Uh, I'm uh, particularly good at sort of visionary kinds of things and other people are good at making things happen. Uh, other people uh, recognize better than I do um, what people's conflicts of interest are, whether you can trust what they say or whether they're uh, only able to think for their own particular uh, interests. So the utilization of the Myers-Briggs type indicators as a leadership tool uh, for hiring and staffing, career planning and problem solving, team building, and enhancing teamwork. If you're going to be a leader, you're going to have to get to know your team and, and leverage the the you know the talents or you know avoid the deficiencies in each and uh, the team that I got now is is diverse and it's a very it's an excellent team I'm very pleased with it we have uh, you know within the system engineering orgs there are types that are very tedious methodical you definitely need them they're the ones that check to make sure there are no mistakes there are those that are creative and designing and those are the ones that you get to solve the problem when it arises there are Personalities like myself who have to apply the pressure to make sure the team doesn't get stuck somewhere, that it keeps moving. Even if, even if you make a mistake or two, right, if you still get it 90% right and you don't make any mistake that can't be fixed later, you keep the pressure on and keep things moving. So, you know, having a team with all those diverse types is, is essential and leaders learn how to leverage it. A good leader has to learn how to leverage that. So now click on the icon to read the characteristics of the 16 Myers-Briggs Type Indicator personality types and make sure to answer the discussion forum post and collaborate with your peers.